Hi, many thanks for your interest in joining in one of my online workshops on risk culture and commercial air transport next week. I'm Cengiz Turkoğlu, one of the lecturers at Cranfield Safety and Accident Investigation Centre and I'm also involved in a couple of other organisations working on improving flight safety. More information about me and why I'm conducting this study is all available on riskculture.org website. But in this short video, I'd like to provide clarification to some of the questions you may have and hopefully I can convince you to register. Firstly, why should you consider joining? You should take part because your experience matters. During these workshops, you will not only hear about the experiences of some of your colleagues who responded to my previous risk culture surveys and shared their experience how they made decisions on different risk scenarios. But you will also have the opportunity to share your experience, hence I'm calling these online sessions workshops rather than webinars. Secondly, what am I trying to achieve? What is my purpose? I have been conducting research on this topic for the last few years. What I'm particularly interested in, you frontline operators, what kind of risks that you actually face on a day-to-day -day basis and how you make risk tolerability decisions in some difficult circumstances. In other words, the risks that you actually accept and tolerate and in some other cases that the risks that you find intolerable and you have to mitigate before operating or in some cases you actually stop operation. Rather than heavily focusing on the individuals, I am more interested in the organisational and external factors that may drive or encourage the frontline operators to accept a certain level of risk. Also, I would like to hear from you if you actually observe any excessive or unnecessary risk taking by your colleagues or your management. My aim is to get the key decision makers in the industry, the senior managers in your airlines, regulatory authorities and other stakeholders to really understand the operational context and the risks that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I believe by common understanding of the risks in operational environment, the leadership in organisations can actually make informed decisions and mitigate those risks more effectively. Finally, how am I going to collect data from you and should you be concerned about your participation? I can assure you during these workshops the data will be collected anonymously by using an online polling tool, unless you choose to provide any personal details. And even if you do, any personal information will be kept as confidential as part of this academic study. Additionally, to register, all you need is an email address. You don't even have to provide your name. And the reason I need that email address so that I can get back to you with the joining instructions and I can also control the number of participants for each session. Before I finish, one more reason to join. During these unprecedented times that most of us are stuck at home and there's a lot of uncertainty about the airline industry. I have nothing but respect to all those people working in healthcare, risking their own lives, who are trying to keep those patients alive. I also pay tribute to many other people continuing to work in order to protect the most vulnerable in society. So for every participant joining one of those workshops next week, I will make a donation of £10 to NHS and UNICEF. So please spread the word around amongst your colleagues and come and join me and spare an hour. I look forward to seeing you online. Thank you.